thought everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Jake here. Um, this is like the eighth take of me doing this tutorial. It's, it's not even that hard, but like everything that can possibly go wrong is going wrong. Like, okay, first off, I want to say like I wanted to make this video over the weekend, but um, I was sick, so I couldn't. Um, second, my headset is broken, so like I've said a million times, and you're probably tired of me saying it, but I'm getting new ones next week, so I won't ever have to complain about it again, but, uh, I can only use one hand, because I have to hold it up with the other hand. Um, my computer has been all stupid, it, like, keep saying it, I don't have a memory for the arrow, um, theme, which I, I clearly do, because it says I'm, I have 16 gigs of RAM, I'm only using, like, 20, and this is the first time it's ever done that, so I don't know why it's doing that, um, so yeah, I apologize for all this, but I'm just really upset, but I really want to make this tutorial, and I really want to do it now, because I... <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get started. Um, What we're going to be making is a uh, an on and off switch, uh, in this case for lights, but you can do it for anything in Cinema 4D. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep it, this is one I made earlier, I'm going to keep it there for reference, but yeah, let's get started. First thing I want to do is make a null, or you can make you can make two, and drag one to the other. And on the first one, I'm just going to call it GLS for global light switch. And for this other one, I'm going to rename it put at bottom. So if I type slow, it's because I'm typing with one hand. Um, and for the first null, we're going to, um, once it's selected, go to user data, add user data. Then we're going to add a data and a group. Greg, that drag the group to the top and we're going to call this GLS again on the second data point we're going to call this drag down and I'll tell you why um, in a second put the data type to separator and on this last data just call it like switch and put the data type at boolean hit ok and what this did is it created this user data and on this one looks a little bit, a bit better because I'm ah, sorry I took I took my time on this one but on this one I'm, I'm saving time because I can only type with one hand ah, okay no more ranting no more no more okay so yeah basically this is what is going to turn on and off whatever we want and this is just this little text thing here and this is just another little reminder thing so yeah anyways now what we're gonna do is right click cinema 4d tags yeah and go to an espresso and you're probably like oh my god jake where is an espresso and yeah it's it's not that hard don't freak out it's okay it's okay we're gonna get through this it's really not that hard uh this is what the final thing looks like it's it's not it's really not that difficult um once you get the hang of it it's it's just Connecting the poo hickey to okay yeah I'm not I'm not I, I'm I'm done okay um so yeah with your uh going to the espresso and drag your uh, top null into here I'm gonna resize it and right click new node espresso calculate range map got a little like is HD okay uh, and then right click again new node espresso script coffee and we're just gonna delete all this stuff and on the uh, blue thing which is the input we're gonna click on it go to bool click on it and go to link and on your bool one uh, right click on it we're gonna rename it to on and spelling in my case well, like capitalization and stuff is critical and I'll tell you why in a sec everything's in a sec and then on the um, the second one, which should be a link, we're going to rename that to any scene object. Hit OK and resize this. And on our uh, null thing over here, uh, we're going to right click on the red, which is our input, go down to user data, switch, and then right click it on it again, go to object link the switch to the input on the range mapper and then link that to the on and then link the object to the any scene object okay and then now what we're going to do to get this actually working um, there's a, uh, a script and it'll, it'll go yellow and I'll tell you why it's because it, it's uh, there's an error um, 
uh, I'll provide this in the description. This is the um, this script. So we're just gonna copy that and go back into here and delete everything else and hit paste. And it should not be yellow anymore. And and if we open up and copy that coffee e editor, I cannot talk coffee editor. Um, the light object is um, what we are wanting to turn on and off. This is our on switch right here, and right here, if I can highlight this, right there is that. So if you want to change the name of this stuff, you have to change it in here. Otherwise, it'll give you an error, and if you hit compile, it'll tell you if there's any errors, and there's no errors, so we are good. Now, if we go and we just make like a cube and we make like a light in an array and we drag this no we want the array drag the array up and go into our new one and hit the switch nothing happens and I'll tell you why because sorry guys I, I figured out what I did wrong it's because the other one was interfering with it but yeah just to let you know look um, when I deleted it it does work so if you want to use this like for example if I want to get rid of that cube go back into the um, espresso and go back into the uh, coffee editor you can do it right here but change this to cube or whatever you want and now if we um, try it the cube disappears so yeah hope, hopefully you guys found this uh, helpful um, I know I did um, there's not a little espresso like I didn't see anything like this. I mean, there's there's one on here there, but it was, it was pretty old. Um, I try I try to. I oh my god, I can't, I can't I cannot talk. I better I better end this before I like say something stupid. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, watching. I finally managed to get through this with that one little cut because. I forgot that the other one was interfering and stuff, but yeah. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I give it a thumbs up because I actually managed to get through it. But yeah, um, so yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.